In Afghanistan, Kabul's main airport is open to commercial flights once again. Dozens of people, including at least 21 U.S. citizens and green card holders, left on this flight yesterday, but there are new signs of the Taliban clamping down. Charlie Daggett is just over the border in Pakistan. Our captures, our cameras rather, captured armed members of the Taliban patrolling the streets right next to people who are desperate to leave. Charlie, good morning. Good morning. We're at the Torgum crossing with Pakistan on that side, and that is Afghanistan on that side. We got Taliban flags flying high, Taliban members who are now guarding this border crossing. There are hundreds of people who are trying to get out, some in need of urgent medical attention, and they're being stopped, not just by the Taliban, but by Pakistan, who don't want to encourage a huge influx of refugees until there's a coherent international plan in place. Here's just an example of some of the brutality that they're leaving behind. A couple of journalists said they were beaten badly by the Taliban after covering a women's protest. The Cal Taliban have now cracked down on those protests, banning them until further notice. Now, as the Taliban continues to tighten its grip through intimidation, we can expect more people to try to flood to the borders, even though they're being discouraged any way they can to get away from Taliban rule. Nate? Charlie Daggett in Pakistan, thank you.